I have introduced this term many times in this course. Stereotype means one-sided views of something and these views are often negative. And this is our self-conception, self-belief about others. This is stereotyping. So similarly, we have certain one-sided views about women and women have one-sided views about men. So how folklore? Folklore is a broad term. It covers different types of literature. It covers folk music, it covers stories and uh, films and uh, TV dramas and so on. Now how folklore literature is used to convey, to communicate gender stereotypes. For folklore literature, if you want to see different examples of folklore, I have suggested a, a website that is shown uh, here. It was accessed on 10th June. You can visit this website and you can find a lot of examples of folklore literature at this uh, website. Stereotypes, I have explained it. Now what is folklore? This term has also been explained but one more thing that I want to add here is that all literature that spread this is past form of separate so that separate orally this is the major feature that uh, differentiates folklore from other type of literature literature is mostly in written form but this literature has come down through oral oral medium through oral medium and later it was definitely published so it was orally transferred from generation to other generation. It is broad group that includes all these genres, fairy tales, riddles, folk songs, myths, fables, and so on. Fables are those stories uh, in which uh, characters are animals. They talk like animals. You are familiar with such kind of fables. Why are we focusing? on oral literature in written discourse. The literature originally is produced through oral medium, but it is written. Now we read it in written form. That's why the question is, why are we interested in it in written discourse? There are certain reasons and they are important to know before we discuss different types of folklore. One, children love fantasy and this fantasy is found in folklore. Number two, this literature is associated with cultural norms and values. That's why we are interested in it. And uh, in the beginning, I said that uh, this literature is product of popular literature, a popular culture. And culture includes our values and all ways of living. So this literature contains, carries with it our values, our norms. Third reason is, it is in written form now and it is taught in schools, both in public and private. Fourth reason is, this literature tells us how we express gender through written discourse. We said that language and especially language use that we are calling discourse, it tells us how we think about gender, how we build gender, right? So through written discourse and spoken discourse, we come to know 
what people think about being males and females. This is the fourth reason. We conclude from this short introduction to folklore, folk literature, that folklores promote gender stereotypes, which are part of popular culture. And we want to discuss whether these stereotypes are true or false, and how far can we eliminate them, can we control them by producing alternative literature.